Hi guys, welcome to Aglison's official YouTube channel. I am Keerthi and I'm really, really sorry. This video was supposed to be up on Monday, but we somehow got late. My sincere apologies for that. So in this video, we'll be talking about what are the minimum marks and what is the threshold marks that you need to set as a target. See, as for most of the strategies, people will suggest you that set an overall target that if the exam is of 360 marks, then set a target of 180 or 200 marks, which is fair enough. You should score at least 50% in the exam, right? But in my opinion, I think setting an overall target is not uh, as effective as, uh, you know, setting a small individual target is. So I'll be assisting you guys by providing the subject wise targets. So now, so this is the target that you should have 18 chemistry, 16 in physics and 16 in maths. I have given maximum marks in chemistry because as per the previous year trend analysis and subject experts, chemistry is found to be easier than the other two subjects. Now this is a general distribution. If you have any other favorite subject, if you have stronger grip in that, you can definitely divide the marks accordingly. But as the matter of the fact, you just cannot neglect the other subjects as well. So this is the distribution with which you can easily score 200, which is not a bad score. And it's like you have to get this much of score to get a good college, right? So starting with the chemistry, I have given 80 marks to it. Now going in depth and looking at the division, there are three divisions of the chemistry which are organic chemistry, physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry. So organic chemistry has 30 marks, physical has 33 and inorganic has 27 marks. And I would advise you to focus more on organic chemistry than organic. Right now as it is less calculative and you can revise more in less time. Also since it's less calculative, you can do more number of questions in less time. Now coming to inorganic chemistry, you don't need to waste your time in referring any other book. You just need to go through the NCRT books for 11th and 12th and that's just enough guys. It's totally sufficient. You can easily attempt 65 to 70% of the questions if you are through with the concepts. Coming to the next subject which is maths. Now we are given 60 marks to it. So in this subject you can easily score good marks if you identify the type of questions asked in the exam. For that you have to go through the previous year question papers and analyze the questions asked. Right. Once you practice 5 to 8 question papers, you will get an idea of what the type of questions are asked and then practice these questions more. Because obviously you don't have the time to grab each and every concept. So here you have to work smartly. Like in trigonometry, there are two questions asked each year. Now if you look at trigonometry, it's a very vast topic. But if you look at the pattern of the questions asked, out of two questions, one question is same throughout. It's the height and distance questions. So you have to identify such type of question and start with that. And obviously, just do not neglect the rest. If you still face any difficulty in identifying the important questions, let us know in the comment section. We'll definitely help you out in that as well. Then comes the third subject, which is physics. So in this, we have again assigned 60 marks. Now in this, start with the units that are less time consuming, like modern physics, nuclear physics, semiconductors, communication system, friction, etc. These are less time consuming units and I would not say the questions from these are easy but they are not tricky. Direct questions are asked from this unit and you can easily answer them. Guys, one common thing in all the three subjects is previous year question papers and mock tests. I have told you this enough number of times in the previous video as well in which we covered mistakes that you shouldn't do in the last one. If you haven't watched it yet, you can watch it from the i button up there. Now, what you have to do is solve papers of last 7 to 8 years. Guys, if you want to score good, you just cannot skip this step. This is a must. Just solve it and let me know how it helped you. After that, the marks I have assigned here does not necessarily mean that you have to attempt this much no matter what. If you are sure about 55 or 58 in maths or physics, just let it be. Don't attempt the questions you are doubtful in. Because negative marking can really hamper your scoring. So do not do that at all. So yeah, these were the things which you need to keep in mind. I hope it helped you in some or the other way. If it did, just show us some love. Like, share and subscribe because we have a number of videos lined up for you guys. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Till then, this is Kirti signing off. Happy preparation guys.